do thank you today for this day that you have given us and allowed us to join together as your people. Thank you for this holy week as we commence all the week long a celebration of your passion. We look unto you in the everything because you're our God and we love you so. Thank you for the saints that join us today by way of the live feed. I pray, Lord Jesus, that what is said and done today would redound to your glory. Let your people be blessed and encouraged and helped even in a time like this because we love you so and we bless your name forever. Thank God. Amen and amen. God bless you, saints, as you join with us today on this Palm Sunday 20. 20. My God, we have come this far by faith, and the Lord has brought us. Of course, we recognize the season that we stand in and all that is going on in our world community, and our hearts and minds are turned to Jesus in a time like this as we continue to look unto him. And we depend on your prayers to help not only us, but to help our entire world community. So why don't you help me say it? You know what I'm going to say. Therefore, I say unto thee, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. As we continue in our service today, we look to the Lord to lead and to guide and direct and to be a blessing to you, even as he is with us as we join together. Yes, it is the friendly church where you can feel Jesus is real.
morning, saints. We're pleased to come and join you again and you with us by way of this media. And we've been certainly looking for this time of fellowshipping around the word of God, not with social distancing, but close up, live, and well. As you are aware, we are not operating out of fear, but simply compliance to what our government has imposed upon us at this time. And you know, it's a good thing because for our own benefit, our governor of this state, Governor Wolf, has declared that we have given a mandate that we stay home. Everything seems to be closing down. And since you know, it's difficult to imagine that God allowed a plague to come forth that was shut down, not just our local town and community, but the nation and the world has been so affected by what's going on. Our presiding bishop, the chief apostle, Charles Edward Blake, has declared that the Church of God in Christ International will postpone all of their service, council, all of their major national services has been canceled to this point. That takes in the Women's Convention, the AIMS uh, programming for our youth, as well as the other programming that is employed at this time. We're looking to be together again in November for the Holy Convocation in St. Louis. So you see, it's affected us all over the world. And then we want you to know that Bishop Clark has always been saying and this is what he gives to you as his people. I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day. And know that Bishop Clark is praying for you. And of course, there are so many among us that we're looking, they're looking this way. And we don't forget to pray. We have our own bishop's wife, little mama. She's been shut in for quite a while. But you have my prayers, along with so many of the saints of God here. I won't take time not to call their names. Just know this, that anybody that's looking towards Zion and looking this way, you have been remembered in prayer. Secondly, will you please continue to pray for the Pettis family as they have laid to rest our precious mother, Mother Juanita Pettis, and then at the same time, praying for the Gilliam family at the loss of their loved one in ministry. In fact, everybody in ministry loved Sharman Gilliam. That young woman has served the ministry in such a powerful way, anointed way, and we remember her and the family in our home going. We'll be talking more about these type of services that will be going on. Now, Let's do this, as Bishop Clark would tell us, be careful, be safe, stay home, the Lord is good, and he is our God. We have got, God bless you, we have good news today, and the gospel means good news, and of course, we haven't heard from Bishop Clark at this time, but we have moved into our arcade, a collection of messages by Bishop Clark, and even on this Palm Sunday known around Christendom at the time of Jesus' triumphant entrance into the city of Jerusalem. But let me say this. Bishop Clark has given himself at a word back there in 2012, and we thought it would be just ideal at this time that we might be benefited from his words. And so after the ministry of the choir, we're going to move right into the service that's been transcribe 2012. Let's say amen and bless the Lord as we move into the services.
a wonderful friend to introduce to other friends saying to him there is someone you should know Wonderful friend who be faithful to the end, but you'll find at the end of the way a perfect friend, so kind and true. So may I present Jesus to you. May I present my Jesus to you. For Jesus is my parts of the world. And what a Palm Sunday it is. Palm Sunday 2012. Palm Sunday, as most of us know, is a great and holy day. Not a holiday as men say, but a holy day for us. This day, Palm Sunday, opens up what is known to us as believers, as Holy Week, as Passion when I was a youngster, we didn't hardly, at our church around, we hardly used the term Passion Week. In a lot of years, we began to, to say Passion Week, but, but we all we called it Holy Week. A boy coming up, we called this week Holy Week. The week, the Sunday just before Easter, the week just before the Resurrection Week. We call it Holy Week, and now Passion Week. For this is the week that leads us into the passion, the sufferings, the death, and even the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, our God and our king. Without emphasizing so much the historical day of palms that's often talked about on this
this day. But I want to talk about something about the gospel writers pen so much about the sufferings and death of Jesus. This historical truth opens up the weak, as I said. And if we really give it thought, I wonder how many people are really giving thought to Palm Sunday today. I wonder how many churches, I mean, church folk now, I'm talking about church folk, not the world, I don't expect them to do it. But there was a time when they talked about it. stores were closed, no center, all that stuff. It was recognized as a holy day, Palm Sunday. But I have questions as to the believers, the saints, if you will, and the Christians. I wonder how many really give thought to what Palm Sunday is all about. I wonder, is it just a passing thing now? Oh, there's my Pettis. I didn't see her. But I wonder if it's just a passing thing that we don't think about really. In fact, how many of us in here really thought about Palm Sunday today? and what it is and what it means. I really, how many thought, don't raise your hand, but how many really and truly thought about it? Well, I guess you know that I have. And for so long, weeks been thinking about Palm Sunday. And of course, as such, I want, Lord, what do I say to my people on Palm Sunday? Without just giving a historical account that almost everybody knows Jesus riding in Jerusalem on his ass and what have you, the black one, but, 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 but more than that. Lord, what will you have me say, Muslim? What will you have me say today? You have read it, but come with me to the 22nd chapter of the book of Genesis that my Gloria Bell read so eloquently this morning. Genesis 20. I don't know when I first read this chapter, but years ago and years I've read that chapter, I don't know how many times, reading the Word of God, going back over and over again. And as I read, Lord, help me to understand this. And Lord, help me uh, to make it relevant, if I'm the preacher, to make it relevant and clear to my preacher people. And, and almost all the time, when somebody comforted me on the word, so, and I just said, was it clear? I, I, I mean, that, that's the, I, do you understand that? I, my, my concern is that with understanding, a priest's lips should keep knowledge and that knowledge gives understanding. And I want to know, not just some said and to get over, but I want, and not just for getting happy, but, but, but I want to know if it was clear. And Pee Wee, how many times do I ask you that almost every, oh, Brenda L. Wallace, I, 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 was it clear? Was it clear? Uh, you understand? You think that people understand? You think the saints understood it? Well, well that's my endeavor to give an understanding of the word. Of God. Genesis 22. 
who in the world would preach Genesis 22 on Palm Sunday? I guess Brother Mel McClough. Who would go into the first book of the old first book of the Bible, Genesis, and get sent in there a Palm Sunday? Well, I have. And I want to share it with you today. I, I mean, the sufferings and the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ in Genesis 22. And Abraham, who in the world is going to preach about Abraham on Palm Sunday. Get ready, Brother Brian. Got to do some reading for him today. Thank God you're home. Let's say amen, Brother Brian. He's home. He's home. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, good God Almighty. But anyway, we're going to talk about Abraham on Palm Sunday. I wish to be expeditious. I wish to speak expositorily. I want to talk about certain truths here. I give it. And you know, yesterday, when I got back from the service on yesterday, my mail, I got my mail, and in my mail was a magazine that uh, I received, and I saw on the cover page Jesus in the Old Testament. And I wouldn't read it. I, I wanted to read it. But I wouldn't read it because I didn't want my mind. I felt like I knew was something in there, but I don't want my mind to be mixed up or what, or, or, from, from, from what the author was saying and what the Holy Ghost had put in me. Now I'm going to read it when I go back home, maybe today or maybe, anyway. But but I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I, I want my thoughts to be in there that I could say as God has given it. To me, for right. Frank, and so I wouldn't read it. I want to read it so bad. Jesus in the Old Testament, and I, I know, and I, I know, I can pick on so many things right on from the Old Testament. Jesus, I can see Jesus so much in in, in Genesis. I can see him in Exodus. I can see Jesus yeah. in, in Numbers. I can see Jesus in the Vedas. Oh, he's there. Oh, he's there. I can see Jesus in Deuteronomy. In fact, oh my God, see, y'all, y'all, y'all will stop and leave me alone. I say. Yes, sir. Jesus talked so much about that, the book of Moses, the books of Moses, than any other thing in the Bible. Have y'all read the 24th chapter of Luke, Lord help me? See, y'all, see, the 24th chapter of Luke, when Jesus was talking to those men on the, uh, the Mass Road there, and uh, he, the book said, beginning at the script of Moses. And then we're not talking about Jesus. Because yes, that begin to moan, he means Moses. The man, he means Moses, Moses writing. Yes, right. yes, right. Genesis and Exodus. And, and I, I can talk, I, I, I won't get that now. But anyway, Jesus in the Old Testament. Since he's there. And he's most there. Let's start at Genesis 22. Read for me. And it came to pass after these things. And to talk about the these things, I don't want to get at these things now, but, but, but I had to go back to right. 21 and yeah. so forth. Chapters 21 and what was going on there. But after these things that Abraham experienced, what does it say, preacher? That God did test Abraham. That God did tempt, test Abraham. God put Abraham to a test. God gave it is. God gave him an examination. Almost a, the final exam. This was a test like he had never had before, never dreamed of, never prepared himself for it, never thought about it, never studied. But God gave him a surprise test. 
And in that test, he said to Abraham, Abraham, uh, Abraham read preacher. And, he said, Behold, I'm here. and Abraham said, I'm here. God, that's what I'm going to. God called him by his name. And let me tell you something. God knows your name. And he knows where you are. All he said was, Abraham. And Abraham, so walking with God now for a number of years, had failures, had failed on several, many tests. But in the meantime, he was still moving. Some tests he passed. And sometimes he couldn't, he couldn't, couldn't go any further until he passed that test. But this time God gives him, Abraham, he said, here I am, Lord. Number two. God said, Take now thy son. And God said to Abraham, Look at the test. Abraham, Abraham take now what? Thy son. Thy son. Your son. Thy only son. What is it? Thy only, thy only son. Now, Abraham did have another son. Y'all know who he was? Who was it? Ishmael. But God recognized the son that he gave. See, God didn't give Abraham Ishmael. That was Abraham's doing and Sarah's doing and Hagar's doing. And that son was born in and out of the flesh. Of the, flesh. the flesh brought Ishmael here. <laughs> Bush it is. Lord, I, I, I'm trying to get, I, that, that's a mess right in here. That was born, he was born out of the flesh. That child was born in the flesh. God had nothing at all to do with it. You know the story. Abraham's wife told him to do something, and of course Abraham jumped at that. Go ahead and screw. I, I go. <laughs> go ahead and get Hagar. As old as he was, honey, he hadn't had. He, he Frank, thank <laughs> He jumped at that and didn't take time to ask the Lord, should I do it? He just obeyed his wife. He didn't. Pray. He didn't pray. <laughs> What I'm saying, he didn't pray about that. You let him say, Lord, what should I do? And Lord, Lord, and Lord what is your will? And honey, and that wife told him to get that other woman, that young girl, pretty, and she was pretty too. How y'all ever knows how beautiful these <laughs> Egyptian girls and uh, they, 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 anyway, the Philistine. Honey, no wonder Samson won the Philistine. But anyway, ah, yeah, 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 they're loose. But Ishmael, the son, was born out of the flesh. Only Isaac at that time was the one that God said, your only son. Supernaturally born of the Holy Ghost because there was no way Abraham could have gotten it. He was 100 years old when I was born. And now, you know how it took some, anyway. With a barren wife, and she was old. Two, that was a whole lot of age in one bed. But supernaturally, God somehow worked it out. That Abraham was given a son of his own loin, Isaac, and the son of promise. And Abraham loved that son, Isaac. Everything was wrapped up in Isaac. Your only son that you love. Now he loved Ishmael, but God said the one that you love. You really love your beloved. The son that you love. What is that, Brian? And get thee into the land of Moriah, 
and you go to the land of Moriah, a mountain, mountain on the other side or in Jerusalem but we're on the almost inside the highest point the highest point in Jerusalem Mount Moriah and do what Brian and offer him there for a burnt offering oh 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 what you say Brian and offer him there for a burnt offering here's the test your son your only son the son that you love. Son your beloved son, your son of promise. Take him to Moriah. And do what, Brian? Offer him there. Offer him there. Woo! Offer him there. What? As a burnt offering. Take your only son and give me a burnt offering. Burn him to death. What would happen to you if God, anybody, asked you, told you, to give him your child, whether it's first or last. But, yo son, if God asked to give Melvin Jr. to me, to me, get away from here, say the Lord rebuke you. God ain't, uh, that's first, uh, the, the, the Lord, get out of my mind. You, 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 you lying wonder. <laughs> and like that lady, uh, oh my God, oh my God. You almost cuss God out, Curtis. Because <laughs> you grit it. <laughs> Give me burning to death. Ah! God tell him that. That was a test, saints. And what is wrong? Keep, keep, keep on sitting, keep on sitting. Come, you got to hold out the read. You can sit down. You can sit down. Oh, oh, good. All right. Upon one of the mountains which I will tell you. I, I, I'm on my right, my, my right, and there are several mountains around there, but, 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 but on the one that I'm going to tell you of. You don't know, but I'm going to tell you of. Look how definite and specifically and pointedly God speaks. And how many times have I told you that, that, that don't, don't even pray in generalities. And God doesn't speak and tell you what to do in generalities. Do you never know what to do? When God speaks, he tells you specifically what to do or what to say or where to go or how to act or how long to be there. God speaks specifically. This was enough. This was enough to make Abraham fall out. This could have given him a stroke. See, see because he knew it was God. God said, Give me your son. Offer him up to me. Oh, good God. Well, Abraham obeyed God. From the moment he spoke, Abraham just, just yes, Lord. He obeyed. I'm going to say something if you're going to watch it. Abraham knew it was God. And Abraham knew God. How many of y'all folk in here, saved and sanctified, baptized with the Holy Ghost, walking with the Lord in the Lord, how many of y'all know God? How many of y'all know his voice when God speaks to you? Know his voice. Now, I think
think God said, I wonder if, but, but how many know his voice? If I had to get in the pulpit, oh my God, to preach, I thank God, said, oh my, 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 my. I thank God. I hope he said that. I hope he gave me word. I hope, no, 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 no. But Abraham knew it was God. Go ahead, I'm staying too long here, but, but it's so important. Saying, I'm staying here, but it's so important here. Oh, read, 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 preacher. Abraham rose up early in the morning. Ah, uh, yeah. Abraham heard God, his voice, and he knew God meant business. God's not just talking, not just giving suggestions. But he knew God, and he knew God meant business. There was no doubt in his mind that God meant business. But see, here are the things. Some of the things more that got to me more and more as you go on here. Read the third verse, preacher. So Abraham rose up early. The next morning, mm -hmm. sell his ass. Hey, in the early, first thing in the morning. Didn't wait till noon. Didn't wait to try to get himself together. Didn't wait to think about, did God really mean this? No, no, no. But he got up early. And set out. To do what God said. Saddle his ass. Woo! What else, Brian? And took two of his young men with him. Took two of his adjuncts and Isaac, his son. with him and took Isaac. Had to take Isaac. Uh huh. And he claimed the wood for the burnt offering. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. I want to get there in a few minutes. Look at. Abraham, God, everybody say, God bless Abraham. God bless his memory. God bless him. He, 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 he believed God. And he said, God told, in his heart, God told me. Now, he could do this because God told him. He knew God's voice. Now, when you know God, it makes all the difference in the world. I mean, when it comes to your giving God an offering, and uh, how we all pray on the, I don't want to get that now, but, 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 but I mean, t t God tell you what to give and how much to give. And, no, but I ain't going to give that. No, no, God tell you what to, what to give and how much to give and uh, when to give. Uh, God tell you, and God tell you what to do and what, what, what uh, oh my God. Let me tell you something I told you before. I know it seems silly. But many times, many, many times, without taking the time to look at television, I don't look at anything, the truth, I don't. I, I said, Lord, lead me today or now in what you have me have to know today. That was going to help me, build me up, going to help me. Not just something... I look at the news to be nosy. I, I want to know what's going on. I, I, I do look at the news. I, I look at what that lady named the judge. Yeah, judge Judy. I, I, I like her fussing. No, she don't cuss, but I like her fussing. And I, I, I like things dealing with the law, legal things. Way back then, the days of Perry Mason and, and uh, oh, what's the other guy's name? Palumbo and Madelon. Oh, I, I tell you, I, 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 I enjoy them so much, but, 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 but in a place. But then when it comes to religious things, I don't look at all the religious folks. I know prophets on that. Pro I don't, ah, the flag goes up stuff when I hear certain names, the, the flag, and I keep on turning. And the one that, well, I was trying to no, know. The Lord, who I look at, and, and, and many times, the very, God leads me in that, and, 
and it's a blessing. It's a word. It's a word. Maybe a confirm a word, or even though sometimes a word I did not know, but a word to confirm a word and all of that to me in my spirit. I know most folks. I don't think most folks do that, but I do that. And then cut my television off and zip and have a time to commune with God, to read my Bible, to pray or whatever. I'll talk on the phone, whatever. But anyway, that's me. That gives me to know God. How can two walk together except they be agreed? And you don't just walk with folk and don't talk to them. The more you walk with folk, the more you know them. Bernard, uh, 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 Bernard L. Wallace knows me. He, he knows me. He, uh, and and Pee Wee, uh, they, they, they know me. I mean, they see me other than in the pulpit. They know me. They know my likes, dislikes. Mother Martin knows Melvin. You can't fool Mother Martin about Melvin Clark. I mean, not, not, uh, I'm just more than that, but I'm just calling these names here. But they, 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 they know me. They know me. I don't say they're everything about me, but, but they know me. They don't know what I would do, what I'd say, what I wouldn't do. I mean, they, you, you, you don't fool them on that. Not just them. I, I mean, I mean but, but I'm calling that name. But anyway, Abraham knew God. He, he, knew God's, he knew God's character. He knew God's love. He, he knew God's wisdom. He, he knew the wisdom of God. I mean, part, I mean, a word of wisdom, not all the wisdom, a word of wisdom, a word of knowledge, a word. God don't give everybody everything, but he gave a word of it. But Abraham knew that by walking with God. Yes, sir. Starting from the time God called him out of the earth of Chaldees, Call him to go into a land. I'm going to show you. But anyway, but, but he, knew, he knew God's character. So he said, well, if God said it, I know God said it. Only for, nothing for me to do what God says. I'm taking too long to say I am, I am, I am, I am. But I guess I'm going to have to cut it off. But short. But, 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 but when God spoke, Abraham was determined to obey God. Right then and there, the next morning, he started preparing himself. He set himself to do exactly what God said. Say, this is vitally important. He set himself to do it. He made preparation to do it. He said, <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I, I might have to. But, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. I know you want me to go longer. But, uh, but anyway, right there on the spot, Abraham obeyed God. He didn't perform the act now, but from the time God took, from the moment God told him, he believed God, and so far as he was concerned, Isaac was already dead. I mean, Isaac was already, when God said it, Abraham believed it, and that son that Isaac was dead. In the mind of God, Abraham, Isaac was dead. Because he was going to obey God. Right. Now, saints, many times things, then things happen to you. God tell you to do, or you know what to do from God. And you start out to do. You are not there, but you start. But when God looks at it, he don't see you starting. He see you doing it. And so what God does, but people, it's done. Look at me, I say it's done. Yes, it's done. I mean, you, you, you see that? You said, Lord, I wish I could pray like 
Mother Martha, I wish I could pray like Deacon so and so. I wish I could pray like Pastor so. I wish I could do. And, and, and you start off. Well, when you start, you are not there. You just start. But God looks at it that you got it made. All you said was two or three words, but, 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 but you started in that direction. How I say, God sees your heart. Shut on doing that. And God say, do you understand that? God recognizes your heart that you're on your way to do it. Woo! I haven't done it yet. I haven't fulfilled it yet. Oh my God. Help me, God. Saints, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to teach you, I, I, but the thing comes up in me. Friday night, Friday night, Friday night. Friday night. I haven't reached there, but God looks at it. Here's a man that said that his mind, no, he's not perfect. Sometimes he makes mistakes, sometimes he stumbles, sometimes he falls, but he's on his way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, it's done. Oh, yes, it's done. Hey. Lord, have mercy. Look at Jesus. Knowing what was God's will for him, the book said he set his face to go to Jerusalem. With all the stuff that's awaiting him that he set his face because God's will for him to go there. He set his face. He was determined. He was focused. Set him up to go there. God looked at him as there. You see, when you understand it, before he got to Calvary, Lord, I'm going to help. Before he got the calorie physical, already in the mind of God. Before he turned to God here, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he turned to God, already saw him giving his life. He had done it in eternity. He died for me in eternity. I know that sounds strange. Lord, before the foundation of the world, Jesus gave himself. In fact, he chose me. He chose you. Not just on the day you got saved, but when in the day, this days of eternity, God made choice of a Vanilla Martin. Before Vanilla Martin got here, God made choice of a Vanilla Martin. God made choice of a high could call on my of a high could of a Lyndon Crawford. God made choice of a Gladys Walk. God made... Where you get it from, Bishop? Go there to... No, 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 no. To Ephesians 1, 4, and 4. No, 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 don't go, don't, don't go now because I, I don't want to get off it, but I tell you, but I get happy thinking about it. I mean, divine election. Divine election. You don't hear me the folk talking about divine election now. But I'm talking about divine. You were elected. Could God, Lord, help me, please. Barnabas, Lord, help me. God elected you. You had to come because he called you. You thought you just made your mind, nigga, but God gave you a mind. The sanctified folks, he gave you a mind to do right. You don't know Paul. He put the do right man in you. God put the do right man in you. Lord, I got to stop this thing. I want to preach. God gave you a mind. Not the one that was next to you. But God gave you a mind. God put it in you. Rob your belly said, God put it in me. Look at somebody said, God put it in me. God. Six. Mother 
Never mind, I got the run, I'm telling you the truth. Before the founding of the world, God made charge that Melvin Clark, he was coming this way, he got to come this way. He's got to come this way. Everybody said, This way, hey. This way, hey. so determined that at daybreak he got up and started preparing getting things in all what did he get by he got the wood he got the wood Abraham got it didn't set a sermon, but Abraham got the wood. I'll come back. Go ahead, Brian. Brian. He, 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 he. No, no, no. He got the wood. What you say? He got the wood. He got the wood. He got the wood. He got the wood. Woo! My Bible, he split the wood. Chopping wood. Now the wood was for the offering. The wood was for the offering. It had to be a, not any kind, but a special wood. For the, you don't offer God See, this got to go to God. You don't offer anything to God. Special, split, chop wood. The wood. Read, preacher, what else? He got the wood for the burnt offering, and he arose to go to the place that God would have him go. For a moment, I'm coming back. I've got to come back. But jump down to the sixth verse. And Abraham took the wood, and took the wood huh, for the burnt offering. Yeah. Read. And laid it upon, Isaac, his son. And laid it upon his son. Uh -huh. And he took the fire. And he took the fire in his hand and the knife. And the knife. And the knife. I'm talking about how, he, how he, he took the wood. The wood is for the offering. And he took the fire. 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 The fire. I mean, he took. From the time God took Sodom and Gomorrah, he took fire all the way. Oh, well, I ain't got that yet. To go to Mamariah. But the fire is for to burn up that wood. And that burnt offering there, huh, good God, oh, what fire would be judgment. The judgment that's coming down on Isaac, his son. The judgment. You know where I'm going. The judgment, the fire for judgment. Go through your, the judgment. Oh, Lord, I, I'll take too long to try to explain it. You got it. Fire. Two things. Preparation. And then took what else? A knife. Took a knife. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's for the slaying 
of the son. He going to stab him. Going to kill him. Going to pierce him through. With that knife. He going to die. All this is done. Going to be done. But in the mind of God, done. Hey, good call, my. And then Abraham's mind, already done. This is what's going to be done to his son, the one that he loves. The only son, the one that he loves. What do you say about this? This really, Isaac, Lord, don't want to get to it yet. This was going to be done to Isaac. Going to put the wood there, going to burn him up in the fire, and then going to stab him. <laughs> Woo, and when that happened, then Abraham called his what? Servants, his adjutants to come and take us. <coughs> now, what does it say in that verse there? In that verse, the third verse, the latter call there, what did it say? Uh, and Abraham arose. What does it say, Brian? And he, rose up he arose up and what? Went to the place. Went to the place went to the place that God told him to go. He didn't know where he was going. No, didn't know where he was going. Going, but didn't know where he was going. Now let me ask you where. Sometimes the Holy Ghost lead you or tell you, and you start doing go, but you don't you don't know you don't know where you go, you don't know don't you don't know where the end goes. You you do what you go, you go as the spirit lead the Holy Ghost leading you to go. Some folk don't have uh, the Holy Ghost leading you to go. The Holy, Holy Ghost lead Honey, Abraham didn't know where he was going. The same thing happened. God called him out of the earth of Chaldeans and told him to go to a land, a, a place I'm going to show you. Paul talks about, the writer talks about in Hebrew how Abraham sat and didn't know where he took his family, right. took the folk in his household, took even life, took, but didn't know where he was going. How the hell is that to follow a man that don't know where he's going? Abraham didn't know what he was, where he was going. But the place I told you of, Abraham obeying God, so he just started walking. Start going. Read me around. Fourth. On the third day, Wait a minute. Yeah, what you say? On the third day. <laughs> Lord, you ought to see my study Bible says. On the third day. If I had to pick a subject this morning, I guess I'd say on the third day. Oh, yeah, 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 on the third, in general, on the third day. Everybody said third day. It, it took three days for him to get from where he was in Philistine territory to get to Moriah, Mount Moriah, Jerusalem. Three days. Three days. Days journey. Look at myself. Three days journey. Three days journey. Didn't get there the first day, but he was on his way. <laughs> Hot, tired. Oh, good God, riding his ass. But 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 he was on his way. The night came. He was on his way. Hey, good call away. The next day came, he was on his way. Honey, how many times? How, how, how many say, yeah, How you doing, sir? I'm on my blessed. 
I ain't got that, but I'm on my way. Look at him. I said, I want, thank God I'm on my way. I'm on, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Hey, I'm on my way. Hey, get the call on my Haven't gotten there yet, but I'm on my, God knows I'm on my way. Look at him. I said, thank God I'm on my way. I am determined. Look at somebody again, sir. Thank God I'm on my way. I don't know what you think. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, Jesus. I'll be there. Dwayne, I'm on my way. I ain't got there yet, but God knows I'm on my path. I'm not coming, but I'm on my way. I've been shot sometimes, but I'm on my way. I haven't reached you, but I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. No turning back. No turning. Oh my God. Say like I'm stuck. He shall not pass. Say I'm on my way. Hey, shallow God. How does that, Brian? On the, on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place of fall off. Saints, if you just determined to do what God say, see, you will know as you follow on to know. You don't know when you start, but you, as you follow on to know, as you set your mind to go, you, 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 don't, you don't get tempted with drinking and smoking and lying and stealing and all that kind of stuff, committing adultery. You don't get your nothing. Your mind, you already got your mind made up. My heart is fixed and my mind made up. I'm going to do what the Lord said do. Lord, I, I, I wish I could stay there, but I got to go He looked up. And that's why I keep on saying, say, keep on looking up. Don't care what happened to you, look up. Don't care what you're going to look up. David said, I will look mine eyes unto the hills from which comes my help. My help comes from the Lord. Don't look down, you'll faint. Don't look around, you'll get disgusted. But look up, my redemption draws up. When he looked up, he saw the place and said, how many times he said, I see it. You ain't got that yet, but I see it. Down in my soul. Hey, I see it. In fact, the vision get every day, the vision get a little clearer. The thing get, ah, I say, uh, it gets a little clearer down in your heart. Every day, it gets a little brighter. And I will say on the air, yeah, I pray that today, your day will be brighter. Your burden lighter. And your sorrow taken away. Hey, because we know. And we have you to know. There's not my might, not my power, but by the Holy Ghost and the Lord of hope. I see it. I lead, I'm going to run. He saw the place. Again, sir, he saw the place. <sighs> saw the place. It wasn't right there, but out of this one, he saw the place. Hi, I, I'm not, I can't put my hand, but I see, I see it. I see it, 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 I see it. I see it. I see it. Out of this one, he saw the place. He saw the relationship getting better. He saw the money prosperity coming. He, he see my five million dollars. And getting closer. Say, just jump up and turn around. Uh, just jump and turn around and say, I see it day. It's coming. It's on the way. Sit on down. Sit on down. Come on. 
I see healing for my body. I see deliverance for my soul. I see it. 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 It's on the way. I see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a light shining forth. I can see it on the horizon. Hey, good God. It is, it is, it is. The of God, of God. Preparing for war. Hey, good God. Running. Running. Conquering. Victorious. Victorious. Woo. Over. The army of Salem. What is it? Nothing can stand before the You can't stop me now. You can't stop me now. You can't stop me now. I've come too far. You can't stop me now. I'm on my way. You can't stop me now. Hey. Uh, physically, 
but the work of ministry still carries on and we are looking unto you saints to continue to do your part as you always do in your faithful giving. As you know, this is the first Lord's Day of the month and we depend so heavily on our auxiliaries and, and of course on our individuals who share and give like you just do. Our hearts are made to rejoice when we see the faithfulness of this God-given people and how you give. I would recommend that you follow the instructions that Elder Brian Long has been sharing with you for the last two weeks. It has not changed the links that are available for you if you choose to do it in that manner. Or you may utilize what we call the snail mail way, post office box 555, Alacopa, Pennsylvania, 15001. Or you can as well stop by here at the administration building. Uh, we'll be here to receive you Monday and Tuesday from 11 to 2 o'clock. You can bring your tithe in. If there's offering that you care to bring by way of cash or check, we'll be right here. And we'll be so happy to receive it from you. We know that you are as concerned as we are in the furtherance of the business of this good ministry that the Lord has given unto us. So we'll be looking for you and we'll be believing God for you. Until then, God bless you. Be blessed in the name of the Lord.